So installing the tool, the tools, it's actually plural, it's quite simple. You open the link provided in the video, you go to this code button and you download the zip file. You open the contents, copy everything into your target directory, that's it. For demonstration reasons I have created two profiles already which I will now copy into the profiles folder. I will also delete the default profile. As described in the manual you first need to install Node.js. After installation you should check if it actually works. You do that with the command node um, minus minus version. If it outputs a version then it's working. After that you can actually, actually already install the tools with the command npm install um, bitstamp trading tools That will take a moment, I can then check and I can see I have now installed version 1.1.9. Soon it will be one point, version 1.2 when everything works properly. The npm ls basically lists the modules installed. You will need to set up one default profile. You do this by setting the default profile parameter to true. If you want to move um, assets around between sub-accounts, then you need to add the unique ID of your sub-accounts. The unique ID you find under settings, sub-accounts, active sub-accounts and then just beneath the label of the sub-account. If you want to be able to move assets then create an API key just for the main account with just these two settings. Move to and move from main account and no other feature enabled. For demonstration purposes I have set in the bot profile to not execute trades. The execute trades parameter is set to false. Heartbeat to 15 meaning every 15 minutes it will kind of say hello and it will fetch the thresholds every 2 minutes. Now let us run the bot. Node run bot JS. And for explanation I have set the debug level to 3 which will then give us a feedback on each on every trade coming in. You, will, you may hear the beep from Bitstamp trade view and I have set the heartbeat at the very low level so it will give us uh, a heartbeat more often. Because the heartbeat works like that, on each first trade of the appropriate minute it will issue the heartbeat. So if you set it to 15 minutes, in the 15th minute after you started the bot, the first trade coming in in that minute will issue the heartbeat. If there is no trade in that 15th minute, then that heartbeat is skipped, which basically means if there is few trades, there might not be a heartbeat and you may think it's not working. For that reason, you could reduce or lower the heartbeat from 15 minutes to 10 or 5 minutes, so that even if <coughs> one or the other is skipped, you still have a, a feedback. On the background you can see the lock which has been created which is which is the reason um, like each message 
output here we will find in the lock as well. So that's basically the trades going on. And other messages the bot may print to screen. Quick reminder what the bot is actually doing. The bot creates a buy order at the low level, in this case 50 cents, and if the price rises up to one dollar it will cancel the buy order and buy at one dollar so that you do not miss out if the price increases a lot. That's the main purpose of the bot. You can set the high threshold manually even while the bot is running so you can lower or increase that level or you can set the high threshold also via the GUI. I will show that. And this is the way I work with the tool. I have two windows and on the left hand side the bitstamp trading view and on the right hand side my, my GUI interface and then and now we will, we will actually see live how that works. So let's start the, bot, the, the GUI the server. Node run server. It gives some messages about the versions used of the files and then it tells you it's listening at port 3003. Now let's switch to the browser. So basically here I open localhost, ah uh, you cannot see that. Um, I open localhost at port 3003. I'll move that up again. And then this page opens. And first time it opens, it opens in white, but you can toggle the, the mode. Then let's go through the features. You have your demo account and the main account. The main account is here because I want to be able to uh, transfer currency. Then there is a page which lists all currency pairs, pairs by crypto and pairs by currency. The currency is the base currency. Then we have transactions. Here you select the date, click transactions and it will output all transactions since that date which you then can also download in a really nice way. And then we have account transfers. Here I have just the demo account and my main account. I do have some reserved XRP in some uh, sell orders on the main account. You can also click on account and then it will be, you, you will see the lines for accounts. Like had I now Bitcoin, it would list just beneath demo account Bitcoin. By currency it lists the currencies I have in, in, in which account. And here it's actually pretty cool because on Bitstamp itself it's freaking complicated. Here I can select to send 50 XRP from my demo account where I have a thousand XRP right now to my main account. I click do it and it's moved. And I can move it back to the demo account, do it, and it's moved back. Okay, but now let's check the, the main page, the trading page, because this is basically what, what you're interested in. So I have quite enhanced the tool. Now you can, you cannot see on top, but you can trade all cryptocurrency offered on on Beatstamp now with all currencies offered Bitcoin Euro British pound PAX USD as a US dollar and US dollar tether then we have in the first section we have a button get balances which will read the balances you have right now we have a thousand XRP 
in my main account and if I go in my demo account if I go to main account that takes a while it will say that I have 450 reserved and, and zero and zero XRP available those 450 in the reserved line are in orders which is also explained here reserved balances are balances in orders say you have a buy order about a thousand dollar then the thousand dollar is a reserved balance in my case it's XRP which is reserved let's go back to the demo account then I have a button get last sell price that's the last sell price for that account for the demo account I can then get a minimum and maximum in, in order to calculate my desired profit so if I have 2-2 two, two, I click the button that would mean if I really had sold at that price and I now had um, dollar which I don't then to, in order to be able to make profit I would need to rebuy 2% profit I would need to rebuy at that uh, price at 2% plus at that price I would 2% loss make 2% loss that's roughly to, to get you an idea of where and how you should set the upper level the high level threshold for your bot the zero percentage means if I buy at that price it's a little bit lower than the sell price it will de de deduct the fee which is also fetched automatically so basically if I rebuy at that price I, I would still have the same amount of X or P after that now next section get current price that will list the current price I clicked it you seen it it's now 817 and the 05 is is rounded so it's one now the, the rest of the stuff I can only show if we actually do trade so basically I do now have a thousand X or P um, let's say I want to sell at two dollars I can create a sell order at two dollars which makes sense because no one will buy will pay two dollars right now so we can play with that now I can get the open order and you can see it is, it's a sell order at two dollars if we move down zero 0 0.0005 then we would be at that price if we move up by 0 0.0005 dollars then we would be at that price that's basically the main purpose of the GUI that you can set um, uh, a level here by which you want to increase or decrease the price and you click just one button for increase or decrease the price and it will change it here so let's see how that works so if I now want to reduce my sell price to one dollar nine 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 five I make sure that here is the five and that it shows this I click once the button down and it already changed here even though in the GUI of the bitstamp uh, platform it takes a while but now you can see it has adjusted and if the price now goes up to 1.999 I may I may reconsider I may think ah no I, I actually really want two dollars so I click the up price button here again and it will change it to two dollar if the price keeps rising I click again now we're on 2.001 and it has a uh, 2.005 if I click again it would go to 2.001 I click it's already done here you can see that that's the confirmation is if the order ID is changed on the 
platform itself it always takes a while now let's say uh, for whatever reason you want to sell now immediate like very urgently you have that sell order but you want to anyway sell at current price or buy for that matter so i have that sell order i can click now sell now and it will delete the sell order you have seen it's gone and after a while it will come back and tell me sold we now should see the dollar balance here has changed and i don't have any xrp anymore and it will tell me the last sell price which is almost the same as before and all the rest i have explained and now i had a thousand dollar so if i want uh let's say um a thousand one hundred x or p back Then I would click that's a mistake then I would enter a thousand one hundred here and I would click get target price so if I could buy at 74 cents that would give me 10% profit from my thousand up to a thousand one hundred on the other hand, if the price is dropping, let's say to 80, I can click the link here and it will tell me how much X or P I would get. In this case, um, 1018, also a little profit. If I click um, if I now create a buy order let's say let's go to the minute task so the price is dropping a little bit so it's at spot price let's say there so I will use all my money and at that price I will create the buy order so I have the buy order here and you can see now it's a little bit below the current price that's like 0.15% below. I click now to get open order and now you see I have a buy order created. And here it's actually the same principle. So if I want to reduce from 81.7 cents to 81. Um, six cents I click on the second arrow which will reduce the second digit by one or up if I would click the up price so now the price is, is falling I decide now with one click to go down let's make that a little bit bigger And as you can see, it's already changed. With one click, I have changed from 81.7 to 81.6 cents. If the price is dropping more, and it actually seems to be doing so, I could, with a simple click again, reduce to 81.5. Let's do so. I click. Here I have the result, the new order ID has been fetched and in the, on the Bitstamp platform, in, in the GUI, it takes a moment to display but we will see here in a minute, now 81.5 cents. And again, if for whatever reason I want to buy now, let's say the price is increasing really rapidly and you get freaking nervous then you click buy now it will cancel the existing buy order and it will tell you bought in this case I will make a little bit of a loss because I 
let's see, yeah, I lost like three X or P. I had a thousand and now I have like 997.7. So that's basically how the GUI works. You can, from the GUI, take the, my, the, the minimum values, the minimum and the maximum value, use values from min max section, like that's the values up there, and then I can write those values to the, to the bot. So I click the button, and the bot, um, it's not running now, but the, the server actually tells me the new thresholds are written to pick up. So if we start the bot again, you can see it will now buy high and buy low. Had we a US dollar balance, he would actually set up a buy order at the low price and then either the low the buy order is executed which is checked in every heartbeat um, or if the price keeps rising it will cancel the buy order and buy roughly around that price Get some trades I can also show the transaction section now so we go to transaction the default date is today, so that's fine. I click on get transaction. It will fetch the last transaction, which is this 1000 XRP I had sold for that price, <clears throat> which gave me that amount of, of US dollar. And then I bought at a little loss at that price and the result was that. And I can download that file so that I can basically easily open it in a spreadsheet application. And the last thing I want to show is to use different profiles for different currency uh, crypto pairs. So this is demo account here I have set XRP and US dollar. I have set another profile for the same SAT account but it uses different currency and like bit Bitcoin as crypto and British pound as currency and just so that you know that it's really the case so we go by account and it's demo account we have Bitcoin and XRP so it's really the same account just I, I assign a different um, default crypto and default currency. And this is how you do it. You copy a profile, JSON document and just set a new uh, default crypto and or default currency. And that's basically it. Happy trading.